today's video, we're going to be working on a new sheep shed. Hi folks, welcome back to Old Yankee Farm. And before I can continue working on the greenhouse on a budget, which I've been anxious about getting back to, uh, I had a few more things I have to work on before the snow flies. And one of them is to build a sheep shed for our sheep. I'm gonna use old material that I have already. I have some, uh, I think they're old guide posts. They're like a heavy pressure treated, like a telephone pole but they're for guide poles. I have a bunch of those so I'm going to use those as the base and uh, I have a bunch of wood left over from the run-in horse shed that I rebuilt and I, I, sh I made it smaller so I have some leftover wood from that and I have some old porch uh, floor joists that I'm going to use for the roof and uh, let's get started. These are a little over six feet tall. So I'm gonna need a few of these. I'll probably do 12 feet long. 12 by six, 12 by seven. This is the basic design. This is the poles I set up. And Amy wanted it a little deeper, so I, I'm gonna make a little gap, but that's no problem. I'll over overlap the, the sill board onto those these other poles so they connect together. So it's gonna be eight feet by fourteen. And then I'm probably going to do an overhang, if I can, in the back. And that way the, the sheep can, can lay in the back with some shade in the summer. So the wood I'm using to build this shed is all repurposed stuff. It's, these are rafters from that horse shed that you see behind me is a run-in shed. It was a 20 by 10, and I shrunk it down to a 10 by 10. So I only have two horses that use it. 
So I'm reusing this lumber that I pulled off of there. Some of it's rotted, but not too bad. They're just the tops, these are about six inches wide. So I'm gonna use this as the framing for the uh, sheep shed. Right now I have the goats in here and the sheep are in the, the ring where the goats are eventually gonna go. But I need to goat proof the ring and have it completely goat proof before I move the sh swap them. So it gives me an opportunity to build this shed. And then when we put our ram in here, I don't want to be in here because I don't know if you've seen the previous video of the ram coming after me. So I'm going to have this all done. I'm going to take down that yucky tarp cover that I made for them last year and build them a nice shed. And it'll look nice in here. These boards have a lot of nails in them, so I'm going to have to pull all the nails out. And I'm going to use my chainsaw to cut them because I'm so far away from the barn. I don't want to have to run a uh, extension cord all the way out here. Although I have enough extension cord to do it. Um, it's a lot easier just to cut with a chainsaw.
Well, that's it, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for part two of the sheep shed. And today I dressed up like one of my favorite YouTubers. If you know who I am, drop a comment below. And make sure you mash that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, there. Make sure you go to that subscribe button and click it. <laughs>